Hi everybody, my name is Joseph Anthony Jerez. I am over here at Swiss Medica in Moscow, Russia. Swiss Medica is a stem cell clinic of which I am a patient. I'm here with Dr. Alexander, a specialist in anesthesiology. In uh, Swiss Medica, her, uh, she focuses on regenerative medicine. And we're here today, this is our third video together, and we will be focusing on multiple sclerosis or MS, but, and how stem cell treatment uh, correlates to the treatment of MS. Okay, so what do the stem cells play in fixing this or helping to alleviate the symptoms? There are many mechanisms uh, where the stem cells can help. First of all, uh, due to immunomodulating effect, stem cells block uh, to a certain extent this uh, aggression from immune system. And uh, that is why own immune cells uh, stop or reduce this aggressive reaction for male in sheath. Okay, so basically simplify it for the people what are the stem cells doing uh, they stop progression of the disease they to stop the progression of the disease okay. yes and this uh, uh, aggressive reaction of immune system for own tissue for meal and sheath they stop it or at least reduce it okay. this is number one the second thing is uh, they help like clever cells to fix the problems which central nervous system has. So it helps to activate regenerative capacity of adjacent tissues, mm -hmm. so which are around those damages, and they help to reduce inflammation to activate regeneration, improve uh, the situation with uh, uh, metabolism, neurometabolism, improve neuromuscular conduction, etc. Okay. There are many things uh, which they can do. Okay, now doc Dr. Alexander, what is your success rate with treating patients with MS? The average success rate for patients with multiple sclerosis is about 80%. 80%. Of course, it depends on what precise type of MS patients have and their age, other you know, problems which they have, I mean, additional chronic problems like high blood pressure, etc. So it varies from patient to patient based on whether or not they have their age, or if they have other underlying health issues, um, basically. But overall, the success rate is 80%. So you're saying 80% of the patients here treated for MS have shown improvement in their conditions? Yes, we what can. What are the improvements that, that you've seen? The improvements, of course, uh, are different uh, and uh, mm, it can be uh, like uh, uh, reducing of uh, chronic fatigue, which most of patients have. It can be better gait. Let me stop you right there. Okay, so reducing fatigue because patients with MS are, no are generally very tired. Yes. So you've seen an improvement. They've become less fatigued, less tired. Okay. Yes, this is what I meant. And um, now you mentioned gait. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. It is balance. So your when, balance. Okay. Yes. So when patients uh, uh, are walking, mm -hmm. because of these uh, uh, damages in their central nervous system, their mm -hmm. coordination, their balance uh, is uh, worse. Uh, and uh, uh, of course, uh, when they have this uh, therapy mm -hmm. in combination with, with all other things which they have during treatment uh, plan, uh, their coordination, their balance can be better. Okay. Now, you said when they have other, in accordance with other treatments. Now, so you're saying you treat, you have more than just stem cell treatment here. What other uh, treatments do you offer patients with uh, multiple sclerosis? Uh, we should say that here, when patients come uh, with uh, multiple sclerosis, they have combined treatment. It includes, uh, uh, first of all, stem cells therapy mm -hmm. uh, with the unique properties of them, uh, 
and uh, um, as well it is IMR treatment, intracellular metabolism recovery, um, okay. every day's uh, infusions which help together with the stem cells to achieve better results. Okay, now do you have other specialists on premises that help with the other treatment programs like say physiology, uh, kinetic? Specialist, yes. Kinetic specialist, can you please elaborate on those two fields that you offer? Together with these uh, treatments, which I mentioned, we have uh, physiotherapy, which is a very yeah. important part of the therapy. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we have a specialist for um, kinesiotherapy. So when patients arrive and when he's assessed by this uh, uh, man, by this doctor, which muscle groups are involved and weak, he uh, helps to find best solutions with uh, different physical exercises mm -hmm. to activate uh, those muscles. So we are talking mostly about spasticity, yes, yeah? so of basic muscle groups, and he helps with uh, exercises, individual mm -hmm. exercises, to normalize as much as it is possible the tonus of muscles. Okay, so you're saying you have specialists on premises that uh, custom design of exercise program to help people with multiple sclerosis even after they've received their treatment and they go back to their homes so you specifically design a program for aftercare just to to stay on top of treatment of the disease yes exactly so when they started this exercising here in clinic mm -hmm. we um, give them advice to continue mm -hmm. uh, those exercises when they are at home and to do it regularly mm -hmm. because it's very important to help um, our brain to form new neuronal pathways to improve neuromuscular conduction. Of course, these are long processes and they take time. And that is why it's important to stimulate uh, those uh, mechanisms even when patients are at home. And they should do it regularly. Okay, and you follow up with the patients? Yes, uh, um, once a month uh, we ask uh, patients uh, send us uh, information about uh, dynamics uh, which they have, uh, our doctors uh, to send us videos as well, our doctors can give uh, them uh, certain uh, additional recommendations um, if it's necessary, etc. So we are in touch. Okay, now uh, for the treatment of MS, what source of the stem cells are you using? the treatment program yeah what type of stem cells are you giving the patients can include uh, several types of the stem cells and uh, in most cases it can be uh, stem cells of a patient so-called autologous cells which are derived from bone marrow and uh, so are you taking these stem cells from the patient Yes, okay. autologous, yes, means uh, from patient's own body, okay. own stem cells, okay. and they are taken from bone marrow, and uh, um, when they are ready, the same day, uh, they can be administered intravenous or uh, inside the spinal liquid. Okay. This is the closest way uh, to central nervous system, to brain, to spinal cord, to achieve and to activate neuroplasticity precisely in these uh, areas and to reduce inflammation, activate the growth of new vessels, better circulation, etc. Okay, now is it safe? This uh, procedure is uh, quite safe. Uh, our specialist does it regularly and uh, about 40 patients per year with MS we have in mm -hmm. our clinic who has uh, this, uh, um, with medical term, intrathecal injection. So injection of the stem cells into the spinal liquid. Okay, so that's, so 
Again, is that how the stem cells are administered into the patient? Yes. They're going, they go in through the spinal cord. Yeah, this is a one way which I mentioned. And as well, there are different other ways for MS patients. It can be intravenous infusion of the stem cells and therapeutic dose can be about 2 million per one kilo for one dose and um, now it can be donors, mesenchymal okay. stem cells, which have higher regenerative properties and can give more benefits. Okay, now if you can elaborate on what mesenchymal stem cells are. Uh, mesenchymal stem cells in, uh, are the cells um, which are um, having many uh, abilities and they can renew themselves first of all yes mm -hmm. and they can differentiate into necessary uh, tissue line such as neurons or muscles etc if we are talking about definition of the stem cells mm -hmm. so those cells which are injected intravenously they can have general systemic positive regenerative effect on the whole body and mm -hmm. activate neuroplasticity and and regeneration of muscles, etc. Okay, now when you're treating a patient with stem cells, is it a painful process? It's an absolutely painless process. When we spoke about uh, um, deriving of the stem cells from bone marrow, this procedure is done under local anesthesia. So uh, patients uh, are alert, they uh, don't sleep, but they don't feel pain with the help of local anesthetics. Okay. And uh, by the way, I wanted to add that not only IV intravenous infusion they can have, but it can be as well intramuscular injection inside muscles. Okay. So those uh, basic muscle groups which uh, um, are very, uh, very weak at the moment when patients uh, come, uh, they can have these injections. Like the leg muscles or the arm muscles? Yeah, it can be uh, as well, um, you know, different ways of injections, I mean muscle groups, okay. but uh, mostly as well it can be uh, calf, yeah, area. Calf, your yeah. calf muscle, okay. All right, now, um, any side effects or risk? associated with the uh, stem cell treatment with, for patients with MS? Mm, in 10% of all cases, it can be a um, side effect as uh, mild uh, fever. A mild fever. Yeah, so the temperature mm. can go up uh, for 1-2 degrees, mm -hmm. and uh, within 1-2 hours, it goes back to normal. So okay. Now, when the patient is receiving the stem cell treatment, are they monitored? Yes, they are monitored mm. and uh, there are uh, at least two medical specialists, I mean a doctor and a nurse who are near and who are controlling the situation, mm -hmm. such as uh, temperature, pulse rate, uh, blood pressure, saturation, mm -hmm. and see how body responds for this uh, administration. And when the, the stem cells are administered, how long is the process? The time duration. The IV infusion can be within 30-40 minutes. 30-40 minutes, okay. Yeah, total uh, time. And the intramuscular injection, according to muscle groups, can take also different type mm. frame. What about uh, injecting into the spinal? It is quite a quick reaction. From the very beginning till the end, mm -hmm. it can be done within 30, 40 minutes as well. Okay. So yeah. different days, yes, when patients with MS come, uh, at least it can be nine, 11 days, because as well, not only three stem cells procedures they can have, but uh, as well plasma pheresis uh, to clean the blood. This is a special method of cleaning the blood from immune, bad immune complexes mm -hmm. uh, and normalizing the response of immune system. So reduce its uh, aggressive reaction. Okay, now are any contraindication involved with uh, treatment? Mm -hmm. The only contraindication for the stem cells therapy for patients can be um, 
in anamnesis, in medical history, having uh, uh, cancer or any mm. manifestation of uh, pre-cancer. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, contraindication means are there any underlying diseases that may contradict the stem cell treatment that might not make you a candidate for the stem cell treatment? That's what we're talking about right now. Yeah, and uh, mm. when patients come, they shouldn't have an acute period of any um, infection, diseases mm. or inflammation, because then the efficacy of the therapy can be reduced. Okay, now you, you carefully review patients before they come here to evaluate the process, correct? Yes, uh, that's uh, true. Before arrival, we uh, should have uh, all information about the patient. Now, when you say we, mm -hmm. what do you, who do you mean? Uh, we have a team of doctors. We call it expert advisory board, mm -hmm. uh, when um, many doctors, including uh, the specialist for regenerative medicine, and uh, our chief uh, mm. um, neurologist and kinesiotherapist uh, take uh, attention of this case, uh, learn mm. this case uh, thoroughly, and then special individual recommendations can be given, treatment plan. Okay, so uh, uh, the team of doctors at Swiss Medica, they get together, they discuss the patient's case, and they customize a treatment program specifically for that patient for their illnesses. Exactly. So there's no generic treatment. It's everything is customized specifically for the patient and what their illness is. Yeah, they can mm. be different common things, mm. but in general, the treatment uh, is uh, individual. Right. Now, how long are the results saved for? The results after the stem cells therapy can stay, um, you know, for different period of time. It's mm. really something individual. Mm. And uh, uh, first uh, improvements, uh, even when patients are in clinic, can be observed. Uh, and uh, it is mostly connected with physiotherapy, with IMR treatment, intracellular metabolism recovery. As for the stem cells, uh, uh, the effects of from this therapy mm -hmm. can be seen at least after one month, uh, six months period. Okay. This is a time frame for the stem cells uh, mm -hmm. to function, to see the effects. Okay, now we're here at the, the Swiss Medical Clinic in Moscow, but uh, are there any other clinics that a patient can go to to get the same treatment? Yes, we have uh, as well another clinic in Belgrade branch where patients can have the same absolutely treatment okay. without any difference. Oh, excellent, excellent. All right, I think we've covered just about... Oh, wait a minute. Um, you were telling me a story before um, about a patient with MS that had significant improvement in their condition. Can you, can you elaborate on that story for me? Yeah, first of all, I should um, focus your attention again on the fact that uh, the response for the therapy is really very individual. It now, varies from patient to patient. I understand. Yeah, and nowadays uh, the uh, multiple sclerosis can't be treated completely, can't be reversed completely, and each patient uh, can have different results. Yeah. But uh, um, some cases are really uh, bright and uh, global changes patients mm. have and uh, I'd like to tell you a case uh, with uh, one man from the UK a young person mm -hmm. because as you know this is a disease uh, multiple sclerosis of mm. young people yeah. and uh, when he came with his uh, family to clinic he was on a wheelchair his uh, reaction for light, for different noises, so the level of his sensitivity was uh, very high mm -hmm. and uh, um, he, um, after the therapy, uh, he, uh, he, he could walk. He, really? Yes, uh, he could leave the clinic uh, um, by himself, uh, he could walk wow. and on our website, of course, you can see uh, this uh, Mm, story, this yeah. successful story. Now, of course, uh, um, some patients, uh, another man um, who uh, had more serious uh, uh, case, according to EDSS, it is a special scale, uh, expanded disability status scale, which assess patients with multiple sclerosis. So uh, this man had more problems, including problems with bowel functioning and bladder yeah. when the disease is, you know, 
deteriorating. Okay, so what were his results after stem cell treatment? Uh, he uh, started to um, go to the uh, bathroom not so frequent. Okay. You know, so which is improved bowel movements. Yes, uh, okay. um, and bladder. And I bladder want to yeah. yes, uh, because uh, this is a typical um, symptom for patients with uh, multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. So he, this patient had more control over his bodily functions. Yes, of his uh, bladder function mm -hmm. and not uh, waking up during night period mm -hmm. so frequently okay. as uh, he did before. So if to summarize uh, the uh, improvements which MS patients could have can be different. Uh, mm -hmm. It can be reduction of fatigue, improving the muscle toneness because mm -hmm. spasticity is typical. So, And more importantly, can it slow the progression of the disease? Yes, okay. we expect, according to our experience uh, with many patients, uh, it is uh, um, a blockage, uh, the progression of the disease. It is a way to stabilize uh, the current condition of a patient. So they won't get any worse. Yes. Okay, that's very important, yes. Um, for remitting relapsing uh, variant of MS, uh, the uh, duration of remission can be longer. Mm -hmm. yeah, so this is also a victory for these uh, uh, patients mm -hmm. and as well their balance uh, can be better, um, their vision uh, functioning mm -hmm. of bowel, of bladder. So for each patient the outcome is individual. And you have an 80% success rate in treating patients with multiple sclerosis. I think we're, I think we're all set. Dr. Alexander, I want to thank you for your time. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Um, Again, this is Dr. Alexander of Swiss Medica in Moscow, Russia. I'm Joseph Jerez, a patient of Swiss Medica out of New York City. Thank you again for watching. Das Vidanya.